Hey guys, it's Deviana and welcome back to my journey. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about forgiveness. I feel like me, myself, I've been dealing with unforgiveness subconsciously. And at first it doesn't really feel like it. Like you feel like, you know, well I don't care about it anymore so I guess I'll forgive them. But really, you don't forgive them. <laughs> you just like, I don't have to see you so I don't have to think about it. But really it's like, you know, if you did see them, would those still those feelings still arise? Would they would you still be angry? Like would you still want your get back? Would you still like, you know, want to smack a smack a person? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> And I feel like it's tough to forgive somebody who never said they were sorry because it's like how do you even do that? How do you forgive someone who never asked for your forgiveness? I want to talk to God about that because in the scripture it says like if your if your brother sins against you seven times and asks for forgiveness each time, you forgive him seven times. If he asks 10, then you forgive him 10, you know, so on and so forth. Basically, every time he asks for forgiveness, you forgive him, but it's like, okay, these people did me wrong, but they didn't even ask for forgiveness. They didn't even say sorry. So it's like do I still forgive them? And the answer is yes. You forgive them for yourself because if you don't forgive other people, God won't forgive you. Like we constantly sin and no matter how much we try to be righteous, no matter how much we try to follow all the commandments, he knows that at some point we're going to fall short. And that's why grace is here to save us. Not for us to keep sinning, not for us to intentionally do it, but because he knows that we're going to make mistakes we're just flawed like we're just unperfect people and so it's just going to be like that and so that's why we have jesus to zero out our sins and i just feel like <sighs> forgiveness is just so hard y'all forgiveness is just so hard one day when i was still staying with my people um someone knocked at the door and I looked outside and I saw a familiar car and I was thinking like oh man is this person at the door like the person that I feel wronged me so I'm like <clears throat> so I'm like man I'm not finna answer this like all these feelings arose like all like literally all these all these different type of feelings of me being like angry low key because I'm like why is she here and then I'm like because at the time like the person I was staying with was not there so I'm like I know she didn't come to see her because she ain't here and I'm like maybe she did but I'm not opening this up <laughs> like I don't have nothing to say I don't have nothing nice and I don't want no bs and I'm I'm just like no I'm not for it I'm not with it because I might I might have to cut somebody out and then something was just like Nikaila you need to face this open the door so I opened the door and it wasn't even her. <laughs> it was not even her. It was the freaking nurse for one of my great aunts. And I'm just like, damn, I don't forgive her. Like <laughs> I still have not forgiven her. And I was watching this video with this message and it said like, somebody who did you wrong they may come back and apologize but if they don't you need to forgive them because in this area your heart is flatlined and i'm like what the heck does that even mean and basically what that means is you know how in the er somebody passed away and they heart stopped beating it's a flat line and that's that's basically what they was trying to say that my heart towards these people towards whoever it is is flatlined towards them because I don't forgive them. And because of that, my blessings is gonna be flatlined. And I'm just like, bro, so how do I forgive somebody who hasn't asked for forgiveness? Like, I'm thinking I forgave them, but really it's just because I haven't had to see them. You know, I haven't had to be near them, except for the times when they wanna pop up out the blue. And then it's like awkward, like what the heck? But even, and it's like, why are you even here you know it's like i still have some type of like blockage because it's just like why are you here what do you want like <laughs> who invited you like what the heck like why hello like what's good like what's up <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's kind of like i don't have nothing to give you like what you here for what you wanted to come see like i'm 
confused. But it's like, you can't be like that. Like, you can't be like that. I be trying to tell myself, like, Nikaila, stop being like that. Like, it's just so hard. Because these people be knowing they dead wrong. Like, they be knowing they dead wrong. Like, <laughs> like, you knew you was wrong. You knew it. You knew you was wrong. And you still thought that you could just pop up out the blue and come see me, come see whoever around me. Like, stuff peaches and cream. Like, stuff just cool. Like, who invited you, bro? Like, <laughs> like that's how I really be feeling. Like, uh. So, no, y'all not alone. Hey, y'all. So, I'm at work right now. And I'm editing this video. But I wanted to talk to y'all about, like, the part when I was saying... Well, all of the video, really. I was saying, like, I don't forgive them. It's like, I'm kind, I kind of forgave them, but I feel like I'm not all the way there. And what I mean by that is, like, I pray for them. Like, I pray for everybody who wronged me. But I don't think that if I seen them, like, face to face, if I had to have an in-person interaction with them, that I would be able to, like, show them love. I don't think I'm there yet. So that's what I mean by that. But it's like, ooh, like... They, it's not like they got to show me love, you know, but it's like, I still have to love your enemy. Like, you still have to love your enemy. So, you know, pray for me, y'all. And I'm gonna pray for y'all. You know, drop it down in the comments if you still, if you're experiencing this or if you still have someone that it's hard to get along with, even still, even if it's like years later, because this happened this year. Like, before I turned 20, this was probably like two months before I turned 20 that this happened. And I'm 20 now, obviously. And I don't know, I guess it's just because it hasn't even been, it hasn't been that long. It hasn't even been six months that it's just like difficult. But I don't know, pray for me y'all. It's just crazy that in this place, this is where I fell short because I think I can't forgive somebody who put me in jail. Like, because I can't forgive somebody who falsely accused me. Because I can't forgive somebody who just really lied and tried to tarnish my name. Like, turn my whole family against me and everything. Like, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really trying. You feel me? Like, I'm trying. Shoot. <laughs> it's hard out here for a pimp. Okay? It's hard. Because I be feeling like certain people don't be deserving forgiveness because you knew you knew you was wrong you knew and you still you still kept trying to reach even more and more to to prove a false case you still kept trying to like take me to court you still kept trying to do all of this and that like i know i'm not the only person out here who dealt with somebody who put them in jail falsely i know that i'm not the only one <laughs> And it's like, how do you forget that person? Like, how do you forget that person? That really had broke my heart because this person watched me grow up. Like, this is my great cousin and you, you, you being weird. Why you being weird to me? Like, why you being weird to me? Like, <laughs> why you being weird to me? Ah! <laughs> it's not funny. It's just like. You just really gotta laugh sometimes, but it's not funny. It's not funny at all. But no, though, I just wanted to tell y'all, like, how I'm feeling right now. Like, I got class in, like, oh, shoot, four minutes. I've been sitting here talking on this camera. Got here early, but still finna be late. You know how I be. It just be like that. But I'm finna go ahead and get off of here. I just wanted to come on here and low-key, like, low-key not vent but like like <laughs> like just tell y'all what i was just thinking about like this just popped up in my head today that was like talk to the people about forgiveness because you still ain't forgave your dang self so go ahead and talk and talk about it because you you need somebody to help you out too y'all all need we all need help at this point I, god said it not me i don't know but <laughs> y'all have a good day. Peace and love to y'all.